To Detroit news, we have some disappointing headlines about Justin Amash. I'm still going to miss it. Amash not campaigning for re-election to his seat in Congress. When U.S. Rep. Justin Amash ended his exploratory bid for the presidency, libertarian activists held out hope he would run for re-election to his seat in the U.S. House, where he is the first and only libertarian to serve in Congress, to point out very carefully, that's that's libertarian with a capital L. We've had Ron Paul, of course. It seems they are about to be disappointed. A top Amash aide reiterated this week that the West Michigan congressman idled his congressional campaign back in February. She also indicated Amash does not intend to seek the party's nomination at the Michigan Libertarian Party's convention in Gaylord this weekend. As Amash advisor Poppy Nelson said by email, he hasn't been campaigning for any office and doesn't plan to seek the nomination for any office. Amash himself confirmed in a tweet, quote, I love representing our community in Congress. I always will. This is my choice, but I'm still going to miss it. Thank you for your trust. The congressman's campaign raised only $24,200 for the quarter ending June 30. Another indication he's not running for federal office. He previously raised over $1.1 million towards re-election. <clears throat> now, some of this is him, right, in terms of the fundraising. He could, if he really desperately wanted to raise a million dollars as the only libertarian in Congress, he could do it. it we are ready to get behind him for this. I would personally donate to his reelection. If, if he was at it asking for help, I would gladly support him on social media. I would interview him. I would share uh, his, his posts regularly. I mean, maybe now that he's not running, he's more likely to be willing to do an interview for Adam versus the man. But we'll see. I mean, because he did decline our invitation as a uh, libertarian presidential uh, exploratory candidate. But uh, it, there's more to the fundraising even than that. And I know this because I ran as a Republican. I know how the Republican Party works, even in the case of Amash. Now, maybe the turning point wasn't when he declared that he's now a libertarian. Maybe it was when he decided to go against Trump on impeachment. And they said, all right, we would rather have anybody else in Congress than this guy. We'd rather have a Democrat. But even though Amash is, philosophically libertarian always has been as, as, as a member of Congress. The Republican Party still looks at, un, until perhaps his break with Trump, the Republican Party looks at him and goes, well, in his district, if we don't back him, we might get a Democrat. If we put up a far right wing conservative or neocon establishment, Mitch McConnell type Republican, then he's going to lose. And we end up with a Democrat and we'd at least rather have, you know, Czech Republican and he'll vote with us more often anyway. We don't like having a libertarian Republican in Congress when we could have an authoritarian Republican in Congress who's as socialist as the rest of the party is. But yeah, we'll take it. And with that comes a lot of money, financial support from the party, from PACs and super PACs and uh, congressional re-election funds and the RCCC, the Re Republican Congressional Cuck Caucus, whatever they call it. Yeah, because they're all a bunch of cucks now. Uh, the congressman's campaign is so raising only 24000 right now. It's more because he chose to, to disengage. Uh, that's not to say Amash 40 is done with politics. Those familiar with his thinking suggested he wouldn't have joined the Libertarian Party this spring if he didn't intend to work with the organization and run for office again in the future. But libertarians had said they would be disappointed not to see Amash on the ballot after finally seeing one of their own among the ranks of the U.S. House of Representatives, a first for the party founded in 1971. You can definitely quote me saying that we hope he runs again. I feel pretty confident that applies to every member of the Libertarian Party, no matter, matter where they live, said Jim Turney, an Amash supporter in Alamont Springs, Altamont Springs, Florida, who previously chaired the National Party. Jim Turney, great dude, friend of mine, also a city council member in Altamont Springs. Uh, because we really admire him a lot. He's a real hero for us, and we certainly appreciate that he moved over and joined our party. But after 10 years in Congress, the former Republican lawmaker and vocal Trump critic has parted ways with the conservative 
House Freedom Caucus, he helped to found and has made clear his frustration with the hyperpartisanship in Washington. He has represented the Grand Rapids area for five terms and saw his national profile soar after he became the only GOP member of Congress to support Trump's impeachment. He split from the GOP a year ago, became an independent, then signed up with the LP in April before launching an exploratory bid to run for president on a libertarian ticket, having dropped that possibility after five weeks, citing extreme polarization in the country, a resistance in the press to third party candidates and limited chances for lesser known candidates to secure media opportunities during the pandemic. Quote, after much reflection, I've concluded that circumstances don't lend themselves to my success as a candidate for president this year, and therefore I will not be a candidate, Amash tweeted in May. And now I'm thinking, like, wow, like I really got to get to Washington, and I want to get my picture taken with Amash in the one libertarian congressional office before it ceases to exist. I don't know. Are they letting people in Washington from Arizona? We're kind of a hot spot right now. No, so, you know, I, I, there are a lot of libertarians right now who are being critical of Amash. I think every libertarian is disappointed. And that's, that's fine. You, you're, you know, absolutely uh, right to be, to be disappointed in this, but not to be critical of our libertarian congressman, Justin Amash. There are so many other factors going into this. You don't know what he's facing. You don't know what he's dealing with. You don't know uh, if it might be worse. It, it, who knows if the district that he's in, that what he's facing in this re-election campaign might lead to a more embarrassing loss that would hurt the cause and the party more. I have no doubt that Justin Amash is continuing in his core mission of standing up for freedom. So some party activists, just to, to back to the story, to see what, what might be in, in store for Justin Amash. Some party activists in Michigan would like to see Amash run for governor in two years. You were added, uh, noting that Amash raised the possibility during question and answer forms he held with Libertarian Coxes during his exploratory bid for president. Quote, one concern he had was taking a job as a congressman and vacating the position halfway through to take a different position. That's a major concern he has, he were said. I think he just wants to make sure he respects the office and does not take a job that he's not going to carry out full term. One way or another, I look forward to supporting Justin Amash in whatever his future endeavors for freedom are, and I hope you will also.